All right, so we're going to talk about verbs like do sad. So obviously, me gusta means I like. So these verbs uh, behave similarly. So me encanta is obviously I love. Me importa means it's important to me. Me interesa means it interests me. <clears throat> now, these behave the exact same way as Gustav. That's how we're going to usually uh, use these verbs. So let's, we're going to practice with Gustav because that's what we're comfortable with. That's what we're used to. And then maybe we'll try a few out with, um, with the other verbs. All right. So hopefully you know your um, indirect object pronouns, which are me, te, le, nos, vos, and les. All right, um, you're going to put these right before the verb um, when you're conjugating them. And the indirect object pronoun is the thing that's really saying who's the one that likes it or who's the one that's interested by it or whatever. Um, the verb is actually referring to the thing it is that you like or the thing it is that you are interested in. So the verb uh, responds according to what it is that you like and the pronoun responds to who it is that likes it. All right, so when we're looking at these pronouns here, may refers to who? Only me, right? And te refers to only you. Same thing with vosotros, or nos, excuse me, refers to only us others, nosotros. And os only refers to vosotros. So there's no confusion there. When we do get the confusion is right down here, le and le. So with le and les, there's four different people I could be talking about, right? Over here, I've got he, she, el, or ella, or usted, or it, which is like lo, or la, or el, or la. Uh, and then over here, same thing, they, plural, and uh, usted, and all that. So you've got lots of choices over here, and lots of choices over here. So since I've got all those choices, I have to use something called um, the personal I. And that personal a ah is what's going to attach one of these pronouns to the person that I'm referring to. So an example of using the personal a ah is um, my grandmother likes to surf the web because that was such a good thing. So mi abuela uh, well this is what y'all would write. Mi abuela le gusta Navegar in la red. Point being, I need to attach a personal a to it. Grammatically, that's the correct way to do it. So instead of mi abuela, it's going to be a mi abuela. Mm -hmm. So a mi abuela le gusta navegar en la red. Another example would be, so Toby doesn't like to study. So I'm going to write a Toby. No, le gusta estudiar. All right, so now we've got a big boy sentence. I love books, but my mom doesn't care about them. First of all, you need to have a chat with your mom about her uh, educational standpoint and tell her that she's teaching your bad habits. But anyway, uh, all right, so I love books. Me encantan. Los libros. Los libros. And again, we briefly touched on this, but it's going to end in on because los libros, which are the things that I love, is plural. The object of my affection happens to be the uh, star of this sentence here. So the verb is going to reflect libros, and that's why it's plural. And may is obviously the person who loves them. So me encantan los libros, pero a mi mamá no le gustan. Oh, excuse me, not le gustan. Le importan.
that's supposed to be import and I'll just type it for you. And that is, me encantan los libros, pero a mi mamá no les importan. No le importan, sorry. Sorry about that, no le importan. Because it's my mom that doesn't care about books. And it's the books that she doesn't care about. So that's what's going on there. Hopefully that made sense. Let's do one more. All right, so now I've got a fancy new sentence. My students aren't interested in talking on the phone. So... I would say mis estudiantes, but I need that personal a, ah, right? So a ah, mis estudiantes and then no and then who's the one that doesn't like it or who aren't interested? It's my students, right? So the answer here is going to be les. No les interesa And the reason why it's on interesa is that habla por teléfono, because it's habla por teléfono. If the answer right after, excuse me, if the word right after the um, the verb like gustar, if the, if the verb after that, if there is a verb after that, excuse me, that's unconjugated, uh, then this should be singular, okay? Por teléfono. Wow, barely got through that sentence. So coming back to this sentence. It would be, a mis estudiantes no les interesa hablar por teléfono. And why? Because mis estudiantes are the ones that don't like talking on the phone. So since it doesn't please them, the les is plural. That's where I got this right here. And the interesa is because of the verb, right, the word right after the blank was a verb. The reason why this word right here, interesa, would ever, ever, ever be singular, because it's either going to be interesa or interesa, right? The only reason it's ever going to be singular is if the word right after it is either a verb, and that verb, by the way, will be in its infinitive form, or if it's just a singular noun. I could also say my students aren't interested in pizza. A mis estudiantes no les interesa la pizza. Same way. Interesa stays singular. All right. Hopefully that made sense. Buenas noches.